If you look at the uh, banking industry generally, um, when banks grow in double digits, the regulator steps in and says, look, what's going on? You know, so it's not always um, a good news that uh, the, the growth is so fast, right? In the fintech world, the reason why they're able to grow faster than financial institutions is because, first of all, they don't have the burden of the balance sheet, especially the liabilities on the balance sheet like banks have, right? So banks have to provide cash, essentially, or provide capital to, to handle their liabilities. But also because uh, fintechs and young companies, they focus on technology a lot, right? And so technology itself is something that drives uh, growth and drives profitability. Now, if you look at the, uh, the actual top line, um, if you look at most of the fintechs, a lot of their top line is generated through technology, but not through banking. Whereas if you look at the banks, a lot of their top line is generated through fee income and, uh, and, um, and basically lending. Now, what's going to happen in the future as well is that banks that encroach into lending space, uh, sorry, the fintechs that encroach into lending space and takes a little bit away from from banks they will continue growing even faster than banks so i think this trend is is okay i think where is it to, it is to be expected but is it going to come at the expense of compliance i hope not i believe that by now 2024 we'll see only strong fintechs will survive and the strong fintechs in my definition are the ones that take care of compliance take care of regulatory changes and make sure that they're focusing on something that really makes money which is lending